tripod is really clearing me up recently. Seems like it keeps on slipping like jacking and that. This is like an extension attachment for Dyson DC-16 vacuum cleaner. Dyson DC vacuum cleaner is like a handheld vacuum cleaner. So it's relatively small compared with a lot of vacuum cleaners. One of the main problems I found is that if you want to clean the floor, now really being a handheld vacuum cleaner is not meant for doing big floors, you know, big areas. It's, or if you've got a smaller area, it's okay maybe for stairs. Is that you're having to bend down to reach down to the floor. So I thought I'd try and make like an extension clip thing. So there's two parts to this, one part goes on in a way there's a brush side and one part goes on the vacuum cleaner side and in between those two parts will be a 32mm waste pipe that you just use for kitchen sinks, things like that, a plumbing pipe, 32mm diameter will go between. So this will clip on the pipe, well pass it push under the pipe and it will also push on the, the Dyson brush end. This is the brush end I'm doing. Oops, see what I mean about the camera jerk and the tripod. This will clip on, sort of, push on to the Dyson brush end. I'll show you that a bit later. Let this get started. Now this does need supports on touching the surface here. Because there is a part, like a plug part, I'm also going to try and get the electric sorted out because the brush is powered. Now it's only a battery, so don't panic, it's not me, it's a 21 volt battery, but I think I have measured it up to about 24, 25 volts coming out the pins, like when it switches on, so to speak. So it's like a 24 volt system, and it's a powered brush on this vacuum cleaner that actually plug in two connections. So this actually has like a thing for, well some, an attachment like, if you like a part for putting a plug on. If I can find plugs and such like that will fit or some way of connecting up. I haven't tried that out yet. I think this is about the third iteration I've done of this actually. First couple have been, well, wrong. So I'll just show you the first, well, one of the first iterations I did. We, I will, we're getting printed this way around. So there's this part here that needs support because this has overhang part at the front there. So this end goes on the brush of the vacuum cleaner. This is the part that connects the two, like the power up. Two pin, uh, well, there's a socket this side, I think. And it'd have to be two wires. So basically a 32 millimeter waste pipe, plumbing, will just go in there any length you can get or want really. So you can have it reaching down and there'll have to be another end the other sort of end. This is because I've been working on this. I've had to modify this quite a bit. 
back out, you know, some new measurements, so to speak. So it goes, it does like change sizes, it goes from 32 mil to, I uh, can't remember, uh, I think it's 38 on the inside here, something like that. Don't quote me on that. So this is, as I say, is getting printed out this way up. Here. I will be showing you the vacuum cleaner. I'll actually show you the DC 16 animal it's known as. It's for help you get up dog hairs, cat hairs, if you have pets, anything like that. Just move the camera back and I'll show you the DC-16. So, here is the DC-16. See, it's battery powered. I did have to actually replace this battery. This is one I got off the internet, been very good up to now. I've only had a short while, but it works fine. It was a... Uh, coming on for 10 seconds and then cutting out 10 maybe 15 seconds and then it would just cut out and then I have to let go of the trigger and then squeeze the trigger again and it would start up again I'll turn it on now I'll see how the brush is turning there Does have a clip thing on this, but if you look down here, if I can get the light on it, just a second. Look down here, you'll see two pins. So that sends power down there into. There must be electric motor in here. Don't know if it says anything actually. Well, it does say a voltage there, I suggest 6 watts. I can't really, just a second. It seems to suggest, so far as I can tell, 16 volts, point two. So yeah, it does say a wattage there, yeah, 6 watts. Hmm. Probably you can see that. This brush can come out, just sort of. A coin in there, unlock this, and it, this bush can come out to get any tangled up hairs. You do, you do get a crevice tool with this as well. That is not electrically powered. It's only, so as I know, it's only this bush here that has, has the electric connection on. Oh yeah, I'll just so on on the bush end, it's got those two like prongs, and on this end, it's got like a two pin socket thing. Oops, very hard to get in here. Uh, quite a good vacuum cleaner. But as I say, one thing about it is, as you can see, it's quite a very short, sort of stubby thing. So if you're reaching down to the floor, it means you're having to really bend down to reach the floor. So I'm hoping that this will resolve that. Might not. I'll just... show you this first, well, one of the earlier variations I've done of this. So I'll give you the idea. So basically this goes, will go on here. That fits on those two pins there. I don't know if I can do the electrical side of this. Hopefully I can. This will be better in this other design, I hope. But then there'll be a 32 millimeter waste pipe in there, the length you want to reach down, and there'll have to be just a second. There'll have to be a different attachment to go, like on the vacuum cleaner end. So be something like that attachment there, and a waste pipe between. So that is a basic idea. 
Okay, I don't know if there's much else I can say about this. Quite easy to empty the stuff out, just knock that lever, shake it out of there. It does have some filters in. It's okay. It's got, you know, a bit of weight to it. It's not too heavy, it's manageable. Probably ideal for doing stairs. But I wouldn't say it's really meant for big areas. Okay, so that's your Dyson DC-16 and it says animal there. I don't know if there's a different, I don't know if there's a, just a DC-16 or not. So as I say, this part here is for what I'm calling the brush sort of part, the side, because it goes on the side where there would be a brush. So I'm putting an ABS here, 235 on the nozzle, 65 on this heat bed here. It's bollock of silica glass there. It has had this put on. Yeah, can I will it pull a focus on that? Elmer's disappearing purple glue stick. It's good stuff for ABS. I haven't had any major problems with Kaelin since I've started using this that Elmer's glue stick on this Borica Silica glass here. I put it on when it's cool. I let the colour vanish. It goes on purple. The colour disappears after about 10-15 minutes. And then I go to print. And quite often I can print three or four, maybe sometimes five times before I want to wipe it off with a damp cloth and reapply some fresh stuff. Also at the front there, it's basically you can't, at the moment anyway, print in the thin air. Got to have something to do it. Those supports generally break off quite easy, you might leave a little bit of marking on the bottom. But quite often you can adjust the supports to lessen that if you Oh, One hour seven minutes into this print of this Dyson DC 60 extension attachment. If I can remember to turn the lights on. There's a support there at the front. hours 26 minutes and it's moved from doing this supports now it's doing this I look part I showed you as I say I don't know about actually wiring that up that's something to be looked into but I wanted to have the 
because my tripod again is jumping, I can feel it jumping. It seems set up stable and then it will just move for no reason. Tripod. Hmm. Anyway, I, uh, if you look at the top edge of that, we might get to see some of the infill as well. I'll put the light on. Look at that back top end edge of that light plug part there. Obviously, the infill set to 30%. Three hours, 13 minutes, and I estimate there's another quarter hour to go, maybe, maybe 10 minutes or so. You can see the two holes for the plug there. That's why it's got this sort of support on here, because this is overhanging and you can't. Three hours, 28 minutes, 4 seconds. 30 millimetres per second that was printed up. Seems to be a bit of a bump or something. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of black again there. Uh, it seems to be coming in the filament. Um, I'm not sure because I know my E3D clone here, hot end has a piece of PTFE tubing in and that has scorched a bit. I think it's probably been too hot for it. So I think that's what might be causing that. I'll have to put another piece in. Find a piece. I don't know if I can just use normal boring tubes. Okay, let's have time to cool. It's off reasonably easy. There's the spots. Yeah, I forgot to put it on the, one of the other ones. I put this at an angle so that it wouldn't need support. So I'll have to do that. But anyway, the spots have kept that up. That, maybe that little mark there. Bump, bit of bump. Yeah, a little bit bumpy, that will fine off. I think it's a good print. So we're going from a 32mm to the size for the Dyson. I'll break off these supports. Maybe get some of these strings off. We'll see how well that fits. Here we are. I like to quite often just put a loop piece of card on top of my bed just to protect it. The spots came off quite easy. But I have noticed there's a little where that bump is there that I've pointed out a bit of light. I don't know as if the plastic hasn't melted properly or something. It's also on this side, I don't know. So this is where it's going into the brush side. Thing. And one drilling out. I'll drill the plug thing out and then I'll come back. Just the two holes here. Well, I've just drilled the, the two holes out, cleaned them out with a twist bit, three millimeter, just by hand, hand drill. See that goes on there, right up, and that plug goes in. Actually, you just see, probably make out, I don't know if you can make out the tips of the those two pins for the power to go down to power the brush. 
Yeah, good fit. Is it on there? Can't that's on there. It's on there pretty tight even without any sort of clip. The original sort of thing has a clip that clips in this sort of groove here. So I think the only thing I maybe want to do with that is redesign this so that it doesn't need the supports on, just like tilt it a bit. And then a, a gradual sort of increase won't need supports like here. It's got a gradual increase from 32mm to the size that's needed for the Dyson DC-16 for, for the brush side. Now it needs a, it needs one, well I haven't even started designing the one for this end. So as I say, one for this end, 32mm waste pipe for wash basin, what have you, between of any length you want really hopefully anyway I'm not sure if a 32mm will fit in here I did try I don't know if it's come out inside and I doubt if you could see it even if it has I did put a little tiny bit of a ridge on lower down in here so that as you're putting it in hopefully it will grip just the one that's on there, very tight, a good strong fit, I think it's not going to like, come loose, I don't think, when you're using it, not initially anyway, don't know if it'll wear out after a bit, yep, good, good, have to see about the electrics though, if I can, might not. <laughs> 